Staring out the window Reaching for a North Star Waiting just to wake up From this nightmare Or you could be right back in my arms Dancing to the limbo Stuck here in the middle You tell me that it's simple But I could paint A thousand different pictures Of what is wrong But if we turn Clocks back a couple dials. We should throw them out because time ain't as well, but you feel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chanel and I do travel and lifestyle content. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, obviously. Um, most of you know I recently went back to work as an ophthalmic technician or ophthalmic medical assistant depending on where you work at they might call it something different but um we basically kind of all do the same thing but anyways this is just going to show um some things that i do for the day and how i um, work up a patient first i'm going to show you guys some ophthalmology tools then we'll jump straight into the patient intake and exam so hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video so first things first here is our um, lensometers and we have a manual one as well as an automated one which is on the left in the middle there that is the light we use to read the plus power prescription um, basically what that is is it just reads the um, lenses on your glasses and it helps us to get a basis for what we'll, what we'll plug into the four opter if we have to do uh, read your glasses you also saw that in the beginning video I had my glasses inside uh, the manual lensometer there so that's what that is this machine here is our auto refractor it's basically a machine that we use during the examination to it kind of gives the doctor like an objective measurement um, of your refractive air or basically for shorter terms the prescription in your glasses so uh this here was the back of the machine that's where you put your chin your eyeball there and we just read it you look in there normally you guys normally see a farmhouse or a hot air balloon something like that depending on what type of machine it is so we normally do this uh, we don't do this for every patient only for some depending on what they're here for this machine here is actually pretty cool this is the otct machine um, that stands for optical coherence tomography um, pretty much it's a machine that the doctors can use it takes images of your retina which is the back of the eye and it can help them to see the different layers of the back of the eye to know um, you know to be able to diagnose uh, each person that comes in so it helps with the macula seeing the optic nerve things like that so a lot of people who have macular degeneration or glaucoma we're going to go ahead and put them on this machine so we can pretty much see what's going on back there and then working in ophthalmology we normally put everyone on the OCT so yep this little gadget here is called a bat I'm not sure what that stands for but we normally use this for um, patients who have uh, issues with glare it pretty much simulates glare from like car headlights uh, so the patient holds it up to their eye and it simulates car headlights and they try to read the chart with the light in their eye so that's very helpful we do that a lot with our um, cataract patients well, this next gadget here I think it's a trans illuminator or I just call it a pupil light we use this to look at your pupils see how they react to light make sure there's no um, defects or anything like that we also check your pupil size sometimes with that as well those other two I do not touch I think the doctor might use those we use cotton swabs sometimes to hold up your eyelids if the eyelids are too droopy this right here is pretty cool so this is the four opter uh, that first where you saw my finger at the first time that is your um, spherical then we use your axis there cylinder um, there's also some buttons and knobs that you can turn to kind of like position your head the right way and your eyes the right way not everyone's head is shaped the same way obviously some people's eyes are wider apart some people have an eye higher than another eye and so forth so that's what that is there and that is called a four opter <music> So now we are in the exam room. This is um, what we use to display the eye chart. Uh, it's how we measure your visual acuity to see how well you can see. So I'm gonna show you the eyes there. Yep, there's the letters that gets uh, projected onto the mirror to what you see and then we kinda um, check your visual acuity with that. Um, just cleaning off the area. We have to, since COVID, 
I mean, we were cleaning before COVID, obviously, but now we're like, they're like strenuous cleaning. Moment to say. And that there is what we use to occlude your eyes. Um, that's the chart we use to check near vision and the spoon, which you cover your eye with. We have to wipe those down after each time. We also wipe down the um, chair as well as the slit lamp that you'll see me use here in a few seconds. And if you could read the Okay, so real quick before we get into the workup, I just wanted to mention these little flags here that you probably normally see. Top one is whenever the room needs to be clean, we put that black one out. The blue one is for, that means that the technician is in the room. One under that is that they are ready to see the doctor. And then when the doctor goes in, they have leave out the gray one as well as the bottom blue one. Okay, so before I film myself, um, working up the patient that's my co-worker my other co-workers in the corner they offer it to be my guinea pigs so to speak but um i do the patient intake we are just seeing what the patient is here for checking their medication history um family history of any eye diseases if they ever had surgery or anything if they have cancer diabetes specifically very much you want to check um if the patient has diabetes checking their a1c or last a1c was if they do their fasting blood sugar, you want to ask them about that as well. Um, if they're allergic to any sort of medications or anything in general, latex, anything like that, bee stings, check and see if they uh, ever smoked or are smoking. And if they drink any alcohol, um, that's pretty much the intake there. And now we'll get on with the exam. Perfect date starts in a small cafe There's hearts everywhere cause it's Valentine's Day We order up waffles to share the whole plate Sit by the window and start to debate There's nobody else I'd rather spend my every day with I think it's sweet, she sometimes winks when she laughs I like the way she dances barefoot about a few things with the slit lamp here that's what you see me using there now that can be used uh, to check pupil sizes just like the pupil light um, it's actually easier for some people to check the pupil sizes with the slit lamp they actually prefer that um, what I'm doing here is checking her angles to see if they're open um, what that means is when you check in angles open angles basically mean it's okay to dilate the patient close angles or narrow angles not okay we would have to get the doctor so they can check and make sure that what we're seeing is correct and then they would decide whether we should dilate or not dilate a patient of course most of you probably know what dilation is when they put the eye drops in that makes your pupils super huge lets all the light in it's, it gets really hard to see things up close for a few hours like four to six hours usually but then after that it wears off um we do dilate most patients especially diabetic patients uh, those who are having issues in the back of their eye, they will be dilated when they get to our offices. So that's what that is. Um, the slit lamp is really fun. This is actually my beginning stages of using it, so I'm not that comfortable. That's why these ladies are training me, and they are so lovely for doing so. After I work up a patient, I uh, let them sit here, and then we go and get the next patient, and they sit here and wait for the doctor. But right now, I'm just wiping down everything because this is the end of the day, so I'm just wiping things down, and I'm pretty much going to close up the room, and that's going to be it. 
And at the end of the day, we just make sure all the machines are covered. Everything's been wiped down, turned off, and we just close up and time to go home. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you enjoy this. If you have any questions at all about ophthalmology, feel free to put them down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up so those who want to know what this um, field is like can be educated. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the next video. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they want to